Hello everyone, my name is Berthe and today I'm doing a current household video. I have never done a video like this before, but there have been a few of you who have expressed interest in this kind of video, so I thought let's give it a go. I am going to show you one of the few households that I play in my spare time and I chose this one because it is a very interesting save to me. So the main sim that I created is Eritrea Shanera. If you know the Shanera Chronicles, you know who this character is in the series. But if you don't know the series, this is one of the main characters from the TV series, the Shanera Chronicles. And I absolutely love that series. And for that reason, one day I thought I want to make Eritrea in The Sims. And she turned out very nice, in my opinion. And one of my best friends who also plays The Sims and who also loves the series. She was very enthusiastic about this sim as well and then we came up with the idea let's both play with this sim from the same starting point and then see how we end up over time. <laughs> and it is really nice to see how different paths we have chosen for the same sim. But uh, I've been playing with this family for a while so I have played through her young adulthood on long lifespan, so that's a long time. But now she's an adult and it's on a normal time span. Let's just unpause the game. Let me give you some backstory, I guess. So Eritrea, she um, lost her mom at a young age uh, and her dad was out of the picture. So she had a rough youth and the only way to survive for her was to start stealing so that is what she did and she ended up in the criminal career in which she now is actually level 10 the boss so that is amazing so how her adulthood developed was that she didn't really know who she was she was living the criminal criminal life and living in a small home and with a dog she does love dogs as you can maybe tell don't mourn thank you I, I'm not good at talking and playing at the same time. Yeah, go chat with your girlfriend. So, um, what was I saying? So she spent her young adulthood living in a small home, stealing stuff to get by. But she met this girl, Sarah. Let's find her over here. She knows quite a lot of people, I just noticed. Sarah, can you please load the picture, please? Thank you. She met Sarah, and Sarah is a city girl. She lives in San Myshuno. And they really clicked immediately. So soon a romantic relationship blossomed. But Sarah doesn't really approve of Eritrea's career choice. So Sarah really wanted her to stop working in the criminal career. But Eritrea was like, girl, this is all I know. I'm making good money. Please don't make me do this. Let's have her... Oh, there's a lot to evolve. Let's do that in the meantime. So, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, the relationship was went on and off for, for a long time. And in the meantime, Eritrea, she partied all night, every night. Um, she had lots of partners. Even while she was seeing Sarah, she was also hooking up with lots of other sims and really trying to figure out who she was. She also, that route, she met Maritza. This is the sim I got off the gallery. I did give her a makeover, but I didn't make this sim myself. So this is Maritza. She was, is a adventurous, outgoing girl. And she really spoke to Eritrea because Eritrea was trying to find out who she was and Maritza definitely knew who she was and took Eritrea to party and stuff and they quickly fell in love as well. But Eritrea was still in an on and off relationship with Sarah and so everything escalated. Like it's been one big mess. In the end, however, um, Sarah and Eritrea broke up for good and Eritrea went back to Maritza because Maritza did accept her for who she is. From there, they started to live together. They have two kids, which are both amazing. This is Artemis. She just aged up into a teen. 
And we also have River, who is still a child. I don't know, she has this glitch where she sits like this. I don't get it, but um, hmm. yeah, this is uh, River and Artemis. Oh, I, I lost her there. And they're all doing quite good right now. So as you can see, um, Eritrea kind of upgraded from... What the heck? Oh, the gnomes. She upgraded to a bigger house. She lives on a very big lot, even though the house is not that big, but that's because I wanted to be able to expand. I got this house from the gallery. Let me see if I can find the O. Oh. Creator and give credits. Okay, for some reason I can't find the Tudor home that she lives in now, so I am sorry, I wanted to give credit. Apparently the person who made this also remade another person's house, so in that case I really don't know who the original creator is. Anyhow, I made it a bit bigger, decorated it myself of course, because even though I don't really like building, I do like interiors. So let's just give you guys a small tour. So this is the house. And this is a dead cow plant from Eritrea, which she unpurposely <laughs> neglected. So you get in and you come into the living room. So here's a little seating area with the TV. There is a bit of custom content in this build, like the flower lights and these prints and stuff. But um, yeah, and she has an old school... Uh, final player, LP player, what do you call this in English? I don't know. But she has had this thing from the very beginning, from when she lived in the tiny house. She didn't have a TV or whatever, but she did have this. So um, that's something she has had for a long time. Then here we have a fireplace with another seating area and, you know, for the doggo. Here's the thing she stole. I think you get this with like level 9 or 10 of the criminal career or whatever. So yeah. Then here is a bathroom that for some reason the toilet doesn't work. So I have no idea because everything is just, you know, it fits perfectly. But um, yeah, whatever. Here... We have a, a room with miscellaneous stuff. I haven't worked on this room, so that's why it looks like this. It's a big mess, but I will decorate it later. Here is a bit of a like study kind of area. There is a chess table and here's the laptop. And here's the um, dining area and the kitchen. I haven't decorated the dining area yet. As you can see, the walls are all bare. There's the hallway, by the way. And um, this is the kitchen. I am kind of proud of this kitchen, to be honest. I really like it. I would so... Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I would like to have this kitchen myself. It looks amazing. Um, then... Do, 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 do. This is the hallway... Where you come up the stairs with a little fridge. I don't know why it's there. I thought I, I think I just got sick of walking downstairs all the time if I, if my Sims wanted to eat. Um, here is a children's room. Children's room. It was like the toddler room. But um, now that they are both of the kids are not toddlers anymore. This is just an area with all kind of play stuff and this this room also still needs working on. Um, what do we have here? Here is the master bedroom for Eritrea and Maritza. Um, with a dog bed. I mean, they have four dogs, so they all have to sleep somewhere, right? It's all kind of pink, which you wouldn't expect from Eritrea because she's such a tough rover girl. But, um, yeah. The, do I still have... <laughs> okay, look. I didn't make this house right, but um, th when I downloaded the house and placed it, this closet was already there. And I took out the closet because there's some space behind it and I thought maybe I wanted to use that space for 
a different purpose. So I took up the closet and there was this toilet roll. And I was like, what the heck? But seriously, this person hung up a toilet roll in the closet. I guess we can all see what that was meant for. But I was just... I thought it was hilarious. But yeah. That was the master bedroom. And over here we have Artemis bedroom. Or did I... Yeah, this is Artemis' bedroom. Um, it hasn't changed much since she was a kid, but um, I really like it. I do have storylines planned out for both of the children already. And Artemis is going to live in Strangerville. I'm going to play the Strangerville storyline because I haven't done that yet. So I wanted a sim to play that with. So that's what we're going to do. Besides Artemis' room, there is River's room, and she has a lizard, chameleon, something like that. It's a reptile. Um, this is also from a mod, by the way, so it looks a bit strange because it is making... It's doing movements that rodents make, but whatever, I really like it. Um, this room is a bit bare for now because I haven't finished this room yet, but I also have a storyline for her. Um, she is gonna go into Selva Dorada a lot because she's a nature lover, like all of the people in here actually. And um, I haven't played with Jungle Adventure yet, so that's what she gonna do. Look, there's this glitch with her hands. I don't, I don't get it. Kind of strange. Okay, we also have dogs. I don't remember the names of the dogs by heart, so um, forgive me. This is... Why doesn't it show me? Moya. She's a Newfoundlander, and she's very cute. Um, this... Oh no, she or he has got fleas. This is Butter. This is an old dog, as you can probably see. The hairs are becoming gray and stuff. This is Sierra. And then we also have a fox named Soro. Oh, yeah. Okay, run away from me. Love you too. So yeah, that's the family. As I said, most of them are nature lovers. Maritza, not so much. She's a scientist. Let me show you. She's a scientist. She's not that far into her career, I believe. But um, that's fine. She is a party animal. Well, she is. She, she has the party animal aspirations, and she's a genius, cheerful, insider, and gregarious and collector. Nope, we are not going to hang out with your ex. <laughs> that would be strange. And Eritrea. Oh, no. Look, I haven't been paying attention all this time because I can't talk and play at the same time very well. So uh, I hope they're doing okay. But yeah. Um, Eritrea is romantic, she loves the outdoors and a dog lover, and I got her some extra extra traits that I bought with the aspiration points. Then Artemis, she is a genius, I believe. Yep, and self-assured. And I'm gonna give her the paranoia trait when she grows up into a young adult, because I haven't played with that trait yet, and it came with Stranger Feel, so that would be perfect. And then there's River. I don't remember her traits. Only loves the outdoors. Yeah. Which makes sense because she's going to Salvadorada. I'm going to give her the aspiration that came with Jungle Adventure. I don't know what it is, but that's uh, what she's going to do. And um, yeah, that's it. I If we're going to play with them for a while, let's see how long I've been recording. Can I see that anywhere? Yeah, 20 minutes. I'll just let's play for with them for uh, a little while. I think I want to age her up. Because I think Maritza is aging up into an elder very soon. And Eritrea kind of soon as well. So I actually want to age River up. So that, it, you know, I don't want her to be a child still when the parents grow up into elders. I think that's a bit strange. It doesn't really matter, but it just feels better if she's a teen too. So, um... Let's make a cake if we don't have one yet. Uh, no, no, don't have a cake. So, come make a cake. 
cook. I'm still finding it weird that you have to cook a cake but can't bake it. Kind of weird. Um, oh, I forgot the shed. This is the shed. <laughs> Eritrea keeps all her criminal kind of stuff in here. The stolen ATM, the maps. There is a flower arranging table. I don't use this. But um, when she lived in the other house before, um, she kept everything secret. So she just had a small little shed with the flower arranging table to raise the idea that it was just a shed to arrange flowers in. But then there was a secret passage to the vault. But right now everyone knows that she's in the criminal career, so it's not a secret anymore. But yeah, here's all the stuff that she earned from the career and some sporting stuff. She's very athletic. Um, she also has the athletic um, aspiration right now because I finished her one before this, but I don't remember which one it is. Anyway, this is the vault. Lots of money. There is an urn from her very first dog that already passed away, unfortunately. Did you finish the cake? Where are you? Oh, there. Add birthday candles, please. Ugh, the gnomes. It's Harvest Fest. I don't, I don't want to play Harvest Fest at the moment. Add birthday candles. One thing that Eritrea really loves to do is go to Granite Falls. Please tell me if it's Granite Falls or Granite Falls, because I've heard people say both, so I'm very confused right now. Anyway, she goes there very often when she needs to clear her mind and... Um, she likes to take the kids and explore the area, just go hiking, the dogs love it. It's their thing. Yeah, girl, we're gonna celebrate your birthday! <laughs> you were not supposed to age up for days, but we're gonna do it anyway. Look, eight. Let's all come down. You are here, you are here, and... Sure. You are here... River, it's your birthday. Eritrea, where are you going? Go here. Come back. Why don't Sims always listen? Wow, such celebration. Ooh, okay. I... Oh my... Why would you do that? <laughs> the hair looks terrible. It doesn't fit her at all. Um, all right. What trait do I want to give her? She's gonna go to Selva Dorada, and she already loves the outdoors. Hmm. Dang, that's a difficult one. If we randomize it, I I'm not sure if I will be happy with whatever it randomizes. But I don't know what I want either. Maybe make her cheerful. Like, her mom is cheerful as well. She might inherit that trait. Yeah, I'm gonna make her cheerful. Oh, and I have to... Maybe I can work on the archaeology? And then later on when she's older, do the jungle explorer. For now, I'm just gonna choose the archaeology scholar. Scholar, sorry. Yep. Girl, you look terrible. I think I'm gonna give her a makeover and then show you at the end what she looks like. She is gorgeous. Look at her. I think both of the girls look very much like Eritrea. Oh, you look sad, girl. I'm sorry. They also look a bit like Maritza, but more like Eritrea. I think they're gorgeous. So, yeah. I'm gonna give this girl a makeover and check in with you guys afterwards. So, this is River. I love this hair I gave her. And this is her everyday wear. Then this is her formal I had have the yellow come back in multiple outfits. I am not really a fan of this outfit, but um, I couldn't really find anything that I liked for her. So I guess I will change this up in the future. Then the athletic wear. I thought she, she may do yoga or something like that. This is her sleepwear, like a cozy sweater and some yellow pants with a nice pattern on it. Her party wear. She definitely looks like a teen. And that's nothing bad or good. It's just a neutral. But <laughs> she really looks like a teen. She has a bit more of a, a cuter face than her sister. If, if that's a word to describe this. If you compare it to her sister. 
She has a bit of a more mature face, I find. Either way, I really like this dress with the yellow and the feathers. Um, this is her swimwear. I tried to give her like some nature influences because, you know, she is an outdoor enthusiast. Well, loves the, she loves the outdoors and she's going to go to Selva Dorada. So that's just what she likes. Um, this is her warm weather outfit with a top from Jungle Adventures. And I love this necklace. It goes very well with it, in my opinion. And then her cold weather outfit, which is a nice yellow sweater. And underneath the sweater, there's a... Uh, what do you call this neckline? Can you <laughs> please tell me? Because I don't know. I did give her a scarf because this looked kind of weird. So I thought this just looked nicer. So, yeah, those are the outfits that I gave her. Let's go back in game. Yesterday, when I was recording this video, I didn't realize how long I was recording. But when I started editing it, I realized I had been recording for like half an hour. So I think that is enough for one video, because even if I edit it down, it's probably like still 20 minutes or something. And I think that is long enough. So I think I'm gonna end this video here, but I want to know something from you guys. First of all, do you like this family enough that you want to see another video on it? If you do, why aren't you sleeping, girl? If you like it enough to see another video, would you want a video starting from this moment and then just playing through from this moment on? Or do you prefer that I play a bit with them off screen and make a video later to give you like an update on what happened in their life or you know something like that another thing that i would like to know as i said this save originated from the idea that me and my friend were gonna play with the exact same sim and then see what paths we would choose for the same sim in different saves would you also like my friend to come over and we can do a video together on her save so you guys can see like what I did with my sim and then compare it to what she did with her sim? Is that something you would like to see? Yeah, I think that is it. I just saw something like Iggy appears to be conducting experiments on reaching escape velocity from its habitat. Interesting, I've never had that before. I, I don't really play with these. It's just over there. Oh well. Everybody is going to sleep. Well, I told everyone to go to sleep, but they are not going. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had never done something before, so this was all new to me. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. You can follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!